hello to you from the sports desk. Let's quickly catch you up. Starting off with this, Mamelodi Sundowns ladies have created their own piece of history by taking honours at the first edition of the CAF Women's Champions League. They've emulated their brother club. But this important victory has also put them in a class of their own. The Brazilians returned from Cairo this morning. My colleague Clonim Tim Kula was there. Let's take a look. Not even a flight delay could dampen the mood of those who braved the early morning to welcome the inaugural Women's African Club champions home. By conquering Africa, Mamelodi Sundown's ladies solidified their campaign of creating their own legacy. The key thing right now is to make sure that these next few weeks, what all these wonderful women have achieved, we don't lose that, that fire and that excitement. We need to now take that flame and go to young schools, and I mean schools with young girls, and share that and, and inspire them. Unbeaten since 2018, continental success could now open doors towards elite football for many of the club's players. I know this, the competition, the CAF has uh, opened a lot of opportunities, not for only me and Bambanani, but for also all the players. You know, So those kind of opportunities, when they come, um, if you want to grab it, you have to, to grab it. Sundowns' free-scoring form was reined in during the competition, but this challenging environment has made the team hungrier for similar opposition. It was an acid test, you know. Uh, it would be nice for us to, to have that kind of a competition on a, on a weekly basis, you know, so, so that even if we go out there, we don't get to be surprised. The club's chairperson has committed to paying out bonuses, but says they wait on CAF to confirm details around the competition's prize money before making any announcements. Shonim Timkulu, Kempton Park.